What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the Winter Circle. Today, y'all, I'm finna talk to you about the power of not giving up. Beep! Not giving a fluff, okay? Because it is truly a power. It is truly a weapon once you can master the power of not giving a fluff, okay? If this is your first time seeing me, make sure you do what you gotta do to join the Winter Circle. Whatever platform you're watching this on, like, follow, subscribe. Do what you gotta do to be locked in at the Winter Circle. If y'all been rocking with me, I love y'all so much. The Winter Circle is popping because of you, okay? Y'all, let's get into it though. Excuse how I look. I'm a little bit um, sweaty. I'm a little bit hot. I just got back from the gym. Um, so bear with me as I work through this and get through this video, okay? But I had to get on here and give you this message before I got too comfortable. The power of not giving a fluff will change your life, okay? And in every aspect of your life, not, not giving a fluff about what people think, what people say, about your flaws, about your mistakes, about opinions, about what you look like, about not giving a fluff will truly catapult you to your next level. This is truly a hack for you. If you can start to master the power of not giving a fluff, you will automatically elevate. You will automatically raise your vibration. You will automatically be more self-aware. Um, you will automatically ignite self-power, self-worth. Um, self-exuberation, all of those things which are naturally are going to catapult you into your next level, okay? So let me let me just give you guys a few examples so we can lay the groundwork here for not giving a fluff, okay? You, you, you've got to not give a fluff about whether people like you or not because the bottom line is people liking you or not liking you should not never change your happiness, shouldn't change um, how you feel about yourself, shouldn't change how your day goes. And I wanna lay down this groundwork because 90% of people out there, we give a fluff too much about other people and it can ruin our day, put us in a bad mood. We're looking for acceptance. We're looking for to be tolerated. We're looking for acknowledgement. We're looking for recognition. And it can literally put you in this, um, it could put you in like a um, like a codependent state of mind. And codependency means that you're attached to certain outcomes, means that you're attached to certain fixations, means that you're attached to uh, attached to certain things that you, certain, certain um, solutions in your life that you need to come forth for you. And when you got that attachment, you want the lowest vibration you could ever be on. When you are attached to people, places, things, and outcomes, you, you, you rid yourself, you strip yourself of your own power. It literally depletes you and diminishes you. So when you stop giving a fluff, I promise you, you will elevate. Things in your life are going to change like magic. You are going to see your world changing in front of you magically. It is truly magic, okay? Stop caring what people think about you. It doesn't matter what you look like. Stop caring about your, your mistakes. Stop caring about your flaws. Uh, let, let's talk about um, how people think about how you look. Um, don't don't worry about your, your your weight, how tall you are, how short you are. You know, people have a complex with their with their height. Um, don't worry about what people got to say about about your looks, um, what you have, what you don't have in your looks. Um, you need to lose weight. You need to gain weight. You need to be taller. You need to be don't it, it doesn't matter. Because the only person that you need to make happy is you. You the only person that you need to make happy. You the only person that you need approval from. You the only person who you need to validate. You the only person you in competition with. Stop giving a fluff what others think about you and your appearance and how you look because it does not matter. People will always find something to look for something wrong. And like I said in one of my other videos, one of my shorts, when you pick people apart, people who pick people apart or put other people down, that's a broke man's mentality. That's a, that's a poor mindset right there and they need help, okay? Because the bottom line is we are all different. We all look different. We all smell different. We all have different shapes. We all have different sizes. We are different heights. Stop, stop giving a fluff. When you give somebody... When you care too much what other people think about your appearance and how you look and what you got going on, you're giving them way too much power. You're giving them domination over your life. You're saying, you're energetically telling God, okay, I know you gave me the... I know you gave all of us the ability to have the same um, the same goals, the same structure, but I think that their opinions matter more than mine. Nobody should be able to tell you about you better than you. Nobody should be able to love you better than you. Nobody should be able to have you better than you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Stop giving a fluff what anybody think about you. Let's talk about your flaws. Ooh, this is gonna be a beautiful masterpiece. Let's talk about those flaws, okay? When you get when you own your flaws, 
no one can use them against you. Hear me when I tell you. Let, let's, you know, people, people have, let, let's talk about these flaws. People have acne and they don't like it. People got a missing tooth and they don't like it. People got um, maybe too big of breasts or too small of breasts and they don't like it. Maybe some people are too too feel like they're too skinny and they want and they want to be thick and they don't like it. Or maybe some people are on the thicker side and they want to be smaller and they don't like it. When you own your flaws, can't nobody use it against you as a weapon. Because what happens is when you when you tell somebody that Okay, I'm gonna just complete, be completely honest with y'all. I don't care for my feet. I don't like my feet. I don't like feet in general, period. But I don't care for my feet. But just because I don't care for my feet, I don't let someone use that as a weapon for me. I don't let somebody use it and weaponize it for me because I love me through and through. I don't care what nobody think. I don't care what nobody say because there's so many more beautiful attributes about me. Why would I give power to this one little minute thing when... In all reality, nobody's perfect. Nobody's a perfect package. Because when you sh when you tell people stuff that you don't like about yourself or uh, something that might be your flaw or something that you, you start to criticize yourself and you're sharing it with people, even your closest friends, your closest family members, they take that information and they weaponize it. They use it against you. They use it against you. They start to ju start to pass judgment. They start to roast you. They start to laugh. But people only have a button to push when you give them a button to push. If you don't give them a button to push, there is no button to push. And the bottom line is when people talk about your flaws, something that something on your appearance, on your body that you can't change, that you didn't ask for, something that you something that you're not comfortable with, when they talk about those things, it's because they're not comfortable in their own skin. When you could really sit with yourself and love yourself through and through and be comfortable with yourself and not give a fluff about nothing, flaws and all, nobody can, nobody can weaponize anything about you. Nobody can use anything against you. You start to love yourself through and through. Don't give a fluff about no flaws on you. None. Don't give a fluff. Don't, don't, don't care. Because people, people who do care too much, People who do care too much, now, now they're creating a button for people to push. And that means they haven't accepted themselves through and through. That means they haven't accepted themselves and they're, they're not comfortable in their own skin. So then when they see people like you and myself who are comfortable in our own skin, flaws and all, they might joke or laugh or hee hee or whatever. It's because they're not com they haven't fully accepted themselves. Because if you could take one of your flaws and plaster it on your forehead, okay, I'll, 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 li listen, I'm a realist. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I'll plaster feet on my forehead. You plaster acne, you plaster this, you plaster weight. Whatever you think, whatever is undesirable to you about yourself. If you plastered it on your forehead, if everybody plastered their, some, their, their downfall, their flaw on their forehead, you would see that everybody has something on their forehead. Not one person on this planet is a perfect, package we are all growing we are all striving to do better we are all striving to 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 feel better to look better and there is there is no such thing of perfection why because evolution has no destination so you're constantly evolving there's going to constantly be something that you're working on there's going to constantly be something that you're trying to improve there's going to constantly be something that you're that you're considering altering so stop giving a fluff and love who you are through and through respect yourself respect your body respect your mind respect who you are through and through flaws and all when you own your flaws can't nobody use it against you because what you're saying is okay yeah this is me and I, I i accept who i am you don't you don't give a fluff you don't give a damn what nobody got to say or what nobody think it is truly a superpower when you stop giving a fluff. You you completely take power into your own hands when you don't give a fluff. And I'm not saying don't give a we're not giving a fluff about people or feelings or not, nothing like that. I'm talking about things th things that 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 can affect you in a negative way. I'm talking about not giving a fluff to where you can elevate yourself. Stop giving a fluff if you if you made mistakes. Stop giving a fluff if you made a mistake yesterday. If you made a mistake today. I talk to a lot of people because I know I'm a life coach. Book a session with me, okay? The comment section, the link is going to be at the top of the comment section. But I talk to a lot of people who want to start businesses, but then they're like, they give a fluff too much about, oh, trial and error and making mistakes and not succeeding right away. 
stop giving a fluff. Because while the person judging you who do give a fluff, judging you for starting over or starting whole time, they ain't started at all. So stop giving a fluff what people think about you. Stop giving a fluff what people think about your actions. Stop giving a fluff about what people think about the, the decision makings you have going on. You your own person. You, your own, you, a, you a whole grown person. You an adult. Don't let nobody dictate your decision making. Don't let nobody's poor judgment, their opinions penetrate you to where you start giving a fluff too much to where you're not living your true authentic self. Stop giving a fluff. People, people like to judge me for, um, like if I say a cuss word or something. I don't give a fluff. I don't give a fuck, okay? Because guess what? I am content with myself and I love myself through and through. And that's not to say I'm a perfect person. I'm growing. I'm still learning. <laughs> we all evolving and growing together. Stop giving a fluff what anybody think about you. When you don't care, when you don't care if people like you, if people don't, if people hate you, if people choose you or don't choose you, if people got an opinion about you, it is truly a superpower because you can't be wavered. You standing on 10 toes all the time and you can't be taken off your rocker. Stop giving a fluff. And I want y'all to have a vicious attitude about it. I don't give a fluff. A fluff. I don't give a fluff. And guess what? Who gonna check me? Nobody. <laughs> Comment in the comment section. Who gonna check me? Nobody. Who gonna check the winner's circle? Nobody. I don't give a fluff and ain't nobody finna check my attitude about it. Stop giving a fluff, y'all. It is truly a superpower. And when you stop giving a fluff, people come to you correct. They start to respect you more. They start to treat you better. They start to bring you opportunities. They start to bring you money. They start putting you on a pedestal. They start to look at you with admiration. They start to look at you and say, how do she not give a fluff? How does he not give a damn? They start to look at you in that light, whether they say it or not, they looking. Stop giving a fluff. Be that role model. Be that beacon of, just be that beacon of growth for other people. Because the bottom line is everybody in this world is wearing a facade. They trying to keep up with the Joneses, trying to do this and trying to do that, not loving themselves, not caring for themselves, who not, not, not respecting who God made them to be through and through. Stop giving a fluff, y'all. When you don't give a fluff, you lead the way for other people to learn how to love themselves. This world is so fake, y'all. It's so many people just, just maneuvering in such a fake facade, nasty, schemish way. When you could be that different person and you bring authenticity to the environment because you love yourself through and through, it's going to be some people don't know how to perceive you. But that's okay. Who's going to check you? Nobody. Stop giving a fluff. Don't give a fluff with nobody at work think, whether they're your friend or not, whether they whether they trying to it, it include you in a clickish group. You know how that y'all know how they be at at the job. Oh, come in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about on them jobs, how they be having them clicks. If I was you, I would intentionally not be in the click. I wouldn't be trying to pick me, be a pick me to, to get picked into the click. Uh uh, be the all ball, be the oddball out. Go against the grain. You don't want to be the part of no click. When you stop giving a fluff. And they'd be like, huh, she's not even trying to put on a show or audition for us, so to speak, to, to, to get in the to get in our clique. And you're going to be looking like, and, and they might approach you, oh, you, you know, you don't want to hang out with us? No, I'm cool. You're going to be different. You don't give a fluff. Now you got the clique chasing you. Because you don't, you, you, you don't give a fluff. Stop giving a fluff if that woman or that man didn't choose you. Stop giving a fluff. Life goes on. This world is so abundant. It's a lot of fish in the sea. Granted, some of the fish in the sea is uh, bottom feeders. <laughs> but stop caring. Life goes on. That person that you obsessing over is not the end all be all. Fellas, get rid of them toxic women. Stop giving a fluff. Stop giving a fluff if she not pouring back into you. Stop giving a fluff. Go find someone who is. This world is too abundant. Ladies, if that man is not choosing you, stop giving a fluff. Go somewhere else. Spread around. This world is too big, too abundant. Stop giving a fluff. Stop caring. When you stop giving a fuck, 
naturally doors will open for you from the spiritual realm because you don't have that attachment you don't have attachment issues. When you are too attached to certain outcomes, you put energy in a chokehold to where it cannot flow. When you stop giving a fluff, you literally submit to God's will and say, okay, bring me this or something better. Okay, this is how I look. Take me around people who admire me. Okay, this is how much I weigh. Show me, introduce me to people who accept me for who I am through and through. But when you got that attachment, why I'm not accepted? Why I'm not this? Why I'm not that? They talking about me. They care about this. They judging me. He didn't pick me. She didn't pick me. They not for me. You got everything in a chokehold and you, you don't understand how abundant this world is. And you letting your happiness be dictated by others around you and outside of you. Stop giving a fluff. Naturally you're going to elevate. Naturally, that self-love is going to improve. Naturally, that self-worth and value is going to is going to skyrocket through the roof. And you will and because you operating with that self-love, remember y'all self-love is the foundation for all abundance. Naturally, energetically, I promise you, God is going to send you things that embody more love. You are going to attract more opportunities, more money, a better partner because you loving yourself through and through. Just like Michael Jackson said, when you when you can't change the world, you gotta look at the man in the mirror. It's the same concept. You have to start loving you through and through. And once you love yourself, you gotta look, you have to look at the man in the mirror and love the man in the mirror. And then things fall into place for you. Not looking around you, trying to be accepted, trying to get approved, trying to get this by everybody else. Stop giving a fluff. They're not finna do nothing to you. And the bottom line is a hater going to find something to hate on you anyway, whether you doing this or doing that, look like this or look like that. They going to find a reason to hate anyway. It's in their DNA. So you might as well do you and love yourself while you doing it. Okay. <laughs> I love y'all so much. So a lot of y'all have been asking me about my lip colors. You guys, I'm working on getting a pay partnership with the lip colors so I can start um, sharing some codes with you guys. Um, you guys have been asking me about my lip colors and y'all been asking me about my skin. Oh, Coach A, you glowing. Your skin looks so good. Um, you guys, I use um, Boutique. Boutique Goals, okay? And this one right here is Powerpuff Girls. And y'all, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. When I get out the shower, I put this on and you literally smell like a snack. So I got this one. What other ones I got? Oh, I got Magic Mermaid. Mermaid Magic, I'm sorry. Mer uh, Mer Mermaid Magic is a good one too. Um, Manifesting Money is a good one too. This one has natural um, healing components in it. Well, they all got great oil oils in it, but this one has um, natural healing components that raise your vibration in order for men uh, to manifest money quicker. So this is one of my favorite ones, but well, I would say all of them is kind of my favorite because I'll be using them up. I'm about to get, I'm about to take a shower right now and use, use one of these. This one, I like to use this one when I go out. This one is called Queen Shimmer because it has like a, it gives off like this, um, this goldy shimmer look. And when you in the sun, you look like, um, I don't want to sound like I'm exaggerating, but y'all remember, what is it? Twilight and how his name is Edward or something, Eddie or something. Let, let me know the dude, the, the pale, pasty dude. When he get into the sun, he look all crystally. This would this be having me look like y'all. It be having me glowing, glistening, shimmering all in the sun. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to put the website with the link um, at the top of the comment section. Get you some body creams. Get you some body butters. Okay. You it is while you not giving a fluff. It is important for you to pour back into yourself. Feel good and smell good. When I put this on, y'all, especially this Powerpuff Girl, mm, it smells so good. But when I put this on, I'll be like, I'll be smelling myself. I'll be feeling myself like, yeah, yeah. If I was somebody, I would want to eat me too. <laughs> I love y'all.